Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be planning out the week of October 10th through October 16th in my Moxie Life Planner. So that is right, I have moved back in. Um, I kind of had like a sort of goal setting epiphany, if you will. I jumped back into using my companion notebooks from Moxie Life and I just wasn't working. Like I didn't use them at all for September, August, or July, um, really because those three months were really, really busy. And then I realized I really wasn't even referencing my annual goals or anything like that. Um, and so I decided to just kind of go back to where it was all together again. I even went back and redid my compass assessment for the quarter and then even like redid all the assessment scoring you'll see I put Q4 because it's just for the end of the year this isn't this is what you can use for your annual your assessment at the beginning of the year but I decided to just do like a quarterly one and log my scores there I even went over my intentions for the quarter you'll see I changed a lot of the verbiage from year to quarter um, I even changed my word of the quarter <laughs> So I decided to switch it to evolve, which is to develop or change gradually. Um, so I, you know, went through and reread all of the the pre-work at the beginning here, and I was like, I felt a little bit more connected because I had only been in the companion books and hadn't been going back to my goals very often. It was, you know, it just life gets busy, and so I was like, let's try this. Let's go back to it. I didn't do the. Um, the empty space or anything like that. Now I rewrote the annual goals that were in my previous Moxie Life that I started in January because I really only took like a four month break from using this book. Um, I stopped in what, March? And then what, April, May, June, July, August, September. Okay, so six months. And I rewrote everything from the beginning of the year for my annual goals in here. And it was kind of fun to read rewrite them and then go back through and check off things that I had done like all of my wellness visits are done with the exception of going to the eye doctor the number of books that I've read the fact that we did get to purchase a new vehicle we did get the patio project done that kind of thing and like all of the go well stuff that I've been able to check off and that part was really really nice to get back and and feel connected with it so there's my blurb about all of that i didn't do the vision board because i was like i'm not doing that again i did just do quickly my um october month view in here didn't get too fancy i used some like sticker strips from cad um some labels from the planner spot for my month and days and then some additional stickers from Chrissy and Designs. And then everything else is just kind of written in. I didn't get fancy, I didn't use additional stickers. I was like, here we go, we're just gonna jump right back into it. Um, I did do all of my monthly goals, which kind of feels like a lot. When I was looking back at it last night, I was like, I may have overdone it. I may have overdone it, but also I haven't really set goals in like four months. So I was like, here we go. So a lot of this I know is going to transfer over into November and December and so on. So I kind of just wanted to use this as like a jumping off point. Like, okay, what haven't we gotten done so far and what do we still want to accomplish? So that's where I'm at with that. I even did like the reflections page, but on the reflections page, because the Moxie Life launch is coming up, I really just filled it in with all the upcoming dates. And I've kind of been referencing it as I plan my weeks because I was like, again, I need to feel like everything is connected together. And you'll notice that um, has kind of been a trend in my planning like switching to the Hobonichi cousin I really like that everything is together and everything is just becoming a little bit more streamlined for my planning which is honestly what I have needed as my career continues to be a little bit more demanding I just can't um, have everything in 500 books or even five books or <laughs> you know so that's how that is going for this week hopefully I'll get to check off some of these things um, uh, today or tomorrow um so far so good so far so good my no spend really should have been a low spend i've only placed one order and it was through jet pens i was very very proud of myself so that's how this week looked i pretty much just copied over last week that i had in my ec life planner over into the moxie life and i was like oh we're back we're back <laughs> 
So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm moving into this week, still have to do this. I'm gonna do this on Sunday night, so it is not ready. So here we are into this week. Sorry for that whole, like it's been five minutes now that you've been watching and I still haven't planned a thing, so very sorry. All right, so I'm going to be using kit number 448 from Planner Kate. Now, of course, everything that I have is formatted for the Life Planner, but I'm going to make it work like I normally do because that's how we roll as planners, right? We switch things around and then we, we make it work. Okay, so let's get these date covers down. These strips are made for a planner that has Monday through Wednesday on one side and Thursday through Sunday on the other, but it's gonna be just fine. It's gonna be just fine. I'm also planning on posting some Hobonichi Cousin videos as well, whether you know whether you wanna stick around and watch the weekly and daily plan with me's for that, or the weekly plan with me's in here. All right, I swear my phone does not ring until I press record on my camera. And I don't like to put my um, phone on do not disturb because then I forget to take it off of do not disturb. So yeah, that's why I don't do that. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to pull some washi and I just lost the 15th there um, to kind of keep things where they need to be on the um, date covers up there. I figured that out last week. I was like, they kind of need something to pair up with because I just can't put down stickers straight is essentially the issue. I'm the problem. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, all right, so I love this kit because it's like fall and animal print together, which is literally my two favorite things on this earth. So I think what I wanna do, and I thought that I grabbed the thick washi, there it is as well. So I'm definitely gonna use that at the bottom. I think we'll use this across here and right about here should do. I think that that'll be thick enough. Let's check it out. I've got to remember that, actually let's do the other side. <laughs> Let's try this side. I seriously considered at one point, like maybe I should just make it so that the column is on the right. I mean, I later I, or on the left. I literally use date covers every single week, no matter what planner I'm in. So, you know, that could always be an option, but you know, I choose to torture myself. I think I have to move that over a little bit. Let's see. I forget that, and I don't think that these are made specifically for the hourly, but the hourly has slightly wider columns. I'm just gonna move it over a smidge. I just still feel like the Thursday is not quite gonna fit. Like barely, like it's barely gonna fit on there. Well, note to self, I'm going to have to reorder date covers. All right, let's cut that side so I can flip this planner on its side and attempt to keep as much of Thursday as possible. <laughs> that works. That actually wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Okay, then we will get Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think it just had to be moved over a little bit. So there is a little bit of like extra. If I wanted to cut it off, I really could. Like so. Let's see how that looks. Not too bad, not too bad. That looks great. All right, so let's get the thick washi down at the bottom because I really love this washi. We are going to cover up all the things. Last week I did put down some habits and things like that, but it was almost like too many and I was finding myself just filling it in um, just to fill it in and I was like, nope, 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 nope. We are not doing that. It's a little bit wider than, oh, I do need to cut some off. Okay, okay, let me get a ruler. You will use this ruler. Still using the EC ruler because I could not find my other bookmarks that went with this. I was like, I don't know where anything is. I've got to find all my stuff again. Oh no, that did not cut all the way. There we go. That was a little bit better. <laughs> Almost had like a little bit of a sticker crisis there. All right, that side did not cut as well, <laughs> but we we're just gonna deal with it. All right, so videos for the week. Obviously this plan with me. Actually, let's let's finish putting the other stickers down. Let's do that before we jump jump ahead a little bit too much. I think I'm gonna cut this side down a little bit. I'm having to do lots of sticker surgery. I was not expecting this. Hopefully I've cut deep enough there. I'm always so nervous that I'm gonna go like all the way through the page, you know? Do you guys ever get nervous that you're gonna do that? I have actually done it before and it wasn't too bad, but 
not something I actually want to do again. <laughs> All right, let's put this beautiful fall sticker down. Love it. Coffee, fall, pumpkins, animal print, everything. Everything is perfect. All right, and then let's do a little weekend sticker. And I think what I'm going to do is use the washi from that sheet that's got like the checklist and stuff. And let's put that right about here because I still want to do the weather. That has been fun to write down now that it's not a thousand degrees outside. Good, good, good. All right, I've got my Pentel Energel Klena. You guys know I love this thing. And I am going to use that to write out this week's videos. So Monday is the weekly plan with me. Wednesday is going to be a daily plan with me. And then Friday will be a review of a really cool planner from, I think it's Laurel Denise. Um, new to me planner, but super excited to share um, this planner because it's just so different. And um, I'm loving seeing all the other things that are offered out there. So there's that. All right, we've got Monday down. Got to do Wednesday. Um, I actually just filmed a weekly plan with me in my Hobonichi cousin, and it was so much fun. And I loved it so much, and I cannot wait to do more of them. So I hope that you guys are on board with those because more is coming. <laughs> All right. So next up Monday, I actually have the day off. So I think, I think I want to use something really fun for it because I'm just excited to have some time off. And I think I'm actually going to letter it with my Tombow brush marker. Hopefully just fingers crossed that this works out because I love this sticker so much. All right, that will work. All right, so Monday, I do have the day off. So I shared this earlier, like I actually um, was going on a trip this week. Oh, I forgot to mark something for Danny's thing. So Danny is doing a live with Kane from Print Pression on Monday for coming out day. So if you guys are watching this, head over to Danny's Instagram. Danny plans it and you'll see the time for it and everything. But I think it's like right in the middle of the day here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is put this sticker for that so I can mark it as soon as I have a chance to check the actual time for that. Um, so that will work. All right. And then I'm going to use these appointment labels for boot camp. So we're still on the boot camp situation. I really love it. We're loving it. It hurts. Everything hurts. Um, but it's been great. <laughs> so our days for that is Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Cause you're supposed to have like, a these, uh, rest days. So rest, rest, and then two days of rest, rest, two days of rest, boot camp. <laughs> okay. You guys know what I mean. Um, so that's what we're doing there. So I'm going to put boot camp for each of those. Sorry about that. If I get my head in the screen, it totally throws off the white balance because of my hair being darker. So sorry. Sometimes I have people that are like, can you lower the stuff? I'm like, yes, let me tell the sun to go away. <laughs> And things suddenly get bright it's it's the sun I'm not a film at night with like 500 studio lights type of content creator that's just not my thing that is just not my thing so natural light it is and there will be fluctuations and everyone will be perfectly fine uh, let's see boot camp boot camp it's like I have thrown neat handwriting right out the window it's totally fine not a whole lot going on this week. I had a lot more events this past week. This week is going to be a very, very, very chill week, and I'm very excited for that. So on looking for all the actual stickers that I need. So on Wednesday, we definitely want to have a little bit of a midweek laundry session because that, that always helps. That helps a lot. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find the laundry machine. There it is. So we'll pair that with the laundry sticker for midweek Wednesday. This kit is also like super, super neutral, which I am here for and very, very excited for. Thursday is going to be payday. Also excited for that. That's always a good day. Always a good day. Although let me tell you, switching over to new payroll system is no joke and everybody's mad because things didn't go well and I'm just like I want to hide under my desk 24 7 it has been rough to say the least all right and then on Friday 
actually let me take that back on thursday there is a club moxie uh six o'clock it's like a meeting would that count as a meeting i'm not entirely sure i think it will count as some type of a meeting but i think it's a q a with tracy and sierra um, I've really been trying to keep track of when the lives are for Club Moxie so that I can actually actively more part more so participate like they just had one yesterday. If you're in Club Moxie, you actually got to see like all the covers and the fun stuff for the new release and that was really exciting. But by the time you see this, you guys have will have already seen just about everything I believe, um, which is super exciting. I think actually it's just the cover reveal. Don't hold me to that. It's just the cover reveal and I believe everything else is on the 18th. So, it's an exciting time in the planner community. Everyone's like posting like, what's your 2023 lineup? I'm like, exactly what I'm using right now. And it's probably going to stay that way, which is my Moxie Life with my goals and then my um, Hobonichi Cousin with everything else because it's all the stuff all together. And that's it. Fingers crossed, that's how it stays. So, um, yeah. All right, so back to Club Moxie. So that is on the 13th at 6 p.m. Very excited for that. Uh, let's put that right about here. And then the other thing is going to be the Planners and Wine VIP meetup. If you're a Patreon of theirs, that's also a super fun thing. Uh, let's see, what do I wanna, what kind of icon do we want to use with that? I like the headphones, but it's got books. It's like an audio book thing. Let's look at the other sampler. I think that that had more stuff on it. Let's use this heart button or this heart bubble uh, thing here. So that is on Saturday at, I don't know the time. I don't know the time and that's okay. We will figure it out. I'm gonna put it right about here. Those are always super fun. Super, super fun. Okay, got that in there. And then, okay, I've got my boot camp in there. And then on Sunday, we really just have groceries and cleaning the house. Well, Saturday we should be cleaning as well, um, but that's fine. Let's do groceries on Sunday. I'm gonna need like 12 variations of this kit, like just different colorways. Okay, minus the pumpkins, but like everything else would be fun, like some florals with the animal print, um, and the neutral or just some other shapes like abstract shapes. Oh my god I need to I need to reach out to Kate because that would just be awesome. All right. Can't forget the trash day is on Friday, let's do that right about here and then I want to make sure that on Saturday I make some time for Meal planning because that's that's got to be a bit of a priority my pantry and my fridge are a disaster right now. They kind of need to be taken apart and put back together and sanitized. Like, it tis the season, right? Just before all the big holidays, I like to take apart those areas and then put them back together <laughs> in a way that makes more sense and is a little bit more organized for all the holiday fun. All right, so meal plan. And then on Sunday night, of course, we cannot forget about House of the Dragon. So cool. I'm really loving that. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about it, but it's so good. It's so, so good. Um, I'm curious to see how many seasons there's going to be. I know I was messaging with Cindy and she was giving me some insight about how many seasons there are, but I'm fingers crossed that it's way more than just like one or two. I'm just, I always get so nervous. I'm like, I don't want to get this invested if you guys are just going to take it away. <laughs> you know, all right, so on Tuesday, I'm gonna need to do, actually no, Tuesday I really don't have that much I need to do because I have Monday to do a lot of things. I don't really need to edit there, my goodness. But on Thursday, I will need some editing time. So I'll just put edit videos, unless I can get it all done on Monday, but we'll see. We will see how that goes. Um, I don't want to, I actually want to have some time to rest on Monday. I don't want to be catching up so much that I can't, I, that I don't feel like I got any rest, you know? All right, so on Friday night, let's do a little bit of a movie night with the family. I kind of went all over the place, I'm so sorry, but I started to see stickers that I could use and I was like, yes, <laughs> let's use those. All right, movie night is in and now I think it might be time for some full boxes because these are just too cute. All right, so since I have the animal print like right, right there, I think that on Tuesday, we'll put like this little cross, 
no, actually, let's do the let's do the leaves, the leaves and all the other fun things. And then this one, none of these are going down perfectly straight, but this is a judge-free zone, correct? Correct. Um, then the buffalo plaid, because tis the season for all things buffalo plaid. And then we've got the pumpkins and the gnomes and all the fun things in between. I was going to throw some checklists in here, but I've already got checklists in my Hobonichi Cousin on the weekly and the daily, so it's just really not necessary to do that over here. This is strictly going to be like decorative, possibly some memory keeping and goals. Super fun goals. Saturday we will do the, oh gosh, no, let's lower this a little bit more because that's not working out. I don't want them right on top of each other. And I think the planners and wine thing is much later anyway, so that moving that will all work out. All right, and then on Sunday, gosh, which one do we want to use? Which one do we want? I want to use the gnomes at some point, so let's let's just go for it. And I think my A L E X A just went off for absolutely no reason. Absolutely no reason. Oh, that's cute. All right, let's talk about some of these habits. So last week I did, I think the main ones I still want to focus on. Hmm, where do I want to put them in here? Because I put them in my cousin. You guys are just going to, might have to keep up with habits by watching the Hobonichi Cousin video if you're interested. I think that might be what we're going to do. Uh, let's see. Let's do, we're going to get really creative here for like all of two seconds. So I'm just gonna cover these with this buffalo plaid strip and then put the box and then do another one just to make it framed, if that makes sense. And then all I really need to worry about is putting some to-dos down on the sidebar, not really anywhere else, just the sidebar. Because I don't wanna be worried about um, tracking things in five different places. One place, which is my cousin, will be fine. Goals can be in this one, but the actual to-dos can stay in the cousin. Oh, I am liking the way that this is turning out. These don't line up perfectly because, again, they are for um, a different planner, and that's fine, but I'm going to make use of it. Going to make use of it. It doesn't matter if it lines up perfectly. All right, and then let's use... You know, there's a this week sticker and a little heart because the heart is just too damn cute to not use. And there we go. That looks pretty good, right? At least I think so. A little chaotic. <laughs> just the way I like it. All right, let's check the weather for the week. Please be gentle with us, Mother Nature. Please be gentle with us. It's been a heck of a few weeks. All right, so on Monday... The high is going to be 80, the low 62. Can't really complain about that. Tuesday, the high is going to be 76, the low 64, also amazing. Wednesday, 76, 63. I, I mean, literally it does not get, it does not get better than that, I don't think. I don't think so anyway. And then Thursday, 78, 60 and it looks like it might rain there but I think it's still too early to say that it's gonna rain all right Friday 79 52 I just again whoops 79 52 again I need this weather all year long 72 51 for Saturday Ooh, my goodness and then Sunday 74 51 normally I don't go out this far but the weather is pretty consistent this time of year um, in this area. It's not very like drastic from one day to the next. All right, there we go. That is the plan for this week. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're already subscribed, make sure you click that red notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.